You're listening to Beyond Insights, your go-to podcast for all things accounting, business, and technology. From cybersecurity and AI innovations to sustainability and work-life balance, we've got you covered. We host insightful guests from different backgrounds, industries, and locations all around the world. From this diversity of thought, we aim to find solutions to some of our most pressing business problems. Thank you for tuning in. Let's dive right in and go Beyond Insights. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the next episode of Beyond Insights. Uh, today, we are speaking to Prabhashini Naidu, who is a chartered accountant who is registered with SICA and is SICA Chairman's Difference Maker Award finalist. Prabhashini is also a philanthropist and Sage Foundation ambassador, the former president of the Golden Key International Honor Society, and the recipient of many prestigious awards, such as the International Women of Wonder Award. She was also ranked within the top 100 academic achievers in the world by the Goldman Sachs Global Leadership Institute in New York. Most recently, Prabhashini has completed an executive development and leadership program at Bits Business School and an MBA. Her dissertation, an investigation into digitalization and its impact on accounting practices at SAGE, dives into an important topic for the accounting industry. And this is what we're going to be discussing today. So thank you so much for joining us, Prabhashini. Thank you, Alex. Good morning to you. And thanks for the amazing intro. It's really great to be here and collab with our app partners as always. Can you give us a bit of background on the accounting industry and related processes as this pertains to your research? Sure. Um, so let me start off by knocking down one of the biggest myths out there. Accountants are far from just the boring bean counters that we are often labeled as. Um, in fact, accountants have been at the forefront of digital transformation for decades, steering the ship towards AI-driven analytics and real-time reporting dashboards, which has redefined the modern business look, what modern business really looks like. So for a long time, we've actually been the digital architects that have shaped the future of finance and business by driving innovation and enabling businesses to leverage technology for smarter and faster decision making. Accounting principles such as the basic debit and credit entry system actually go way back in time to over 7,000 years ago. In fact, these accounting records were literally set in stone as they were recorded on clay tablets. The clay tablet was then used back in 3000 BC to record Pharaoh's possessions. And as we fast forward through history, the journal book became the standard tool for manually capturing the double entry principle, a method that held its place for quite some time. However, we all know that manually capturing um, entries in a journal book is a very time consuming task and also prone to human error. So manual journal books were then replaced by computer-based accounting software to enhance the accuracy and speed of financial transactions. And then if we fast forward to the digital age of today, we have smartphones, digital tablets, which is the upgrade from our ancient clay tablets, and of course, we've got robotics, automation, nanotechnology, and artificial intelligence. Digitalization has also enabled new streams of income for all ages. Even a seven-year-old can make millions on YouTube with toy reviews. So the possibilities are just endless. And in the accounting industry, all of the tedious and repetitive accounting tasks can be automatically captured within just a few minutes with the use of AI technology. So the accounting industry has really come a long way from the days of painstakingly capturing in the stacks of invoices and bank statements by hand, which used to take hours and sometimes even days, to now have all of this captured within just a few minutes. This has really empowered accountants to dedicate more time to strategic thinking and innovation, being able to drive the business forward with fresh insights and value-added initiatives. 
Amazing. I think that's such a wide ranging history and, and something I think we all kind of know about that as soon as there were transactions taking place, we were recording them in, in some format, um, you know, whether it be on stone tablets or now yeah. on our accounting software. So I think as civilization has grown and adapted and evolved, uh, accounting has alongside it. And I think that's that's a really important part of what your research is all about. Mm, no, absolutely. I found it so intriguing to look at how it all started off back in the day to where we are now. It's just phenomenal. We've made such phenomenal progress, especially in the accounting industry. Um, and what was your favorite part of your studies? So my, that's a great question, by the way. Um, my favorite part of the study was investigating how digitalization has shaped, reshaped accounting practices within SAGE from manual traditional tasks to the more strategic and data-driven roles within finance. This has really expanded my perspective on the future of accounting. Um, it was also very fascinating to delve into emerging technologies such as AI, automation, and cloud computing. I think it's very easy to claim that digital tools will boost efficiency and positively impact accounting practices. However, it's far more compelling when we gather real-world insights and data directly from clients who have already implemented these tools. Oh, definitely. Um, I think that the future of accounting, I mean, it's something we've spoken about a lot on, on the podcast, it's going to be moving accountants away exactly from what you said, from that sort of idea of being a bean counter and a lot of the kind of manual processes to being more of an advisor and really tapping into those technologies, especially things like AI um, and other cloud processes. Absolutely. Um, maybe to just back it up a little bit, we're talking about digitalization. How do you understand digitalization or how would you um, define it? Well, to me, um, digitalization is all about creating a smarter, more innovative future. I think it's about moving beyond those traditional ways of working and embracing tools to drive efficiency, creativity, and agility. At its core, Digital transformation is basically the fuel for innovation. Um, it reshapes how we work, how we collaborate, and also create value in a business. And I also think that continuous learning and adaptability are key because digitalization is not just a one-time upgrade. It's an ongoing journey and um, it allows businesses and stakeholders to thrive, evolve and also stay ahead of their competition. Yeah, I think that's really important. Digitalization isn't something that you sort of put in place once and then that's it, one and done. Um, it's really the process of continuing to learn, continuing to upskill yourself and your team, see what new tools are out there, and find ways that you can improve your practice. Mm, absolutely. Um, and maybe you could shed some light on the impact that digitalization has had in transforming the accounting industry and what you've seen in your research. So with cloud-based systems, um, businesses are now able to access real-time financial data from anywhere, anytime, and you know this has enabled remote working as well. So these platforms allow for a seamless collaboration between teams and clients, which also improves um, the transparency of financial information. Um, recently, accounting has been increasingly being driven by data analytics. Um, which helps businesses gain deeper insight into their financial health. AI and machine learning, for example, are being used to analyze trends, forecast cash flows, and identify financial risk. And this has enabled accountants to be more strategic in their decision making rather than just be number crunches. Um, I think it's really dawned a new era for accounting um, in the accounting industry because even the educational system is set to change to prepare for the next generation of accountants. 
I think that's really exciting. Um, and some of the work that we've been doing at SWIFT has been working with universities. Um, we've worked with FITS and UFS and quite a few other universities now and looking into ways that they can bring in using software for students to practically apply what they're learning. Because, of course, it doesn't help if you know, you're learning everything on pen and paper and then you go out into the real world and that's not how it's done anymore. Yes, no, that's absolutely just the the, tr the case at the moment because um, a lot of research goes into, um, you know, the future of accounting and how we need to integrate this with the latest AI technologies and innovation. So we definitely need to upskill our university students as uh, Swift Analytics has been doing uh, to fam familiarize them with the product as well. Definitely. And what are some of the key highlights uh, that you found in your research? So according to my research, um, there was an impressive 95% of accounting practices that reported digitalization having a, um, enhanced the efficiency of their processes. So this shift has strengthened client relationships, streamlined collaboration, and also improved communication across stakeholders raising the overall quality of services that have been provided. And, and I think a key highlight of digital transformation is, is ability to foster stronger client connections with tools like online portals, automated communication, and real-time reporting. Businesses are able to deliver greater transparency and value-added insights. And the result of this is um, there's a higher client satisfaction, higher loyalty, and higher retention rates. Just over 86% of respondents revealed that digitalization has significantly reduced human errors, boosting the accuracy and reliability of accounting tasks. This is crucial to mitigate risks associated with manual data entry and calculation errors. There was about 93% of respondents that pointed out digitalization has increased the accessibility and accuracy of financial data for quicker decision making. And an impressive 89% confirmed that it had significantly improved accounting efficiency overall. So in a nutshell, my research highlights the transformative power of digital tools in optimizing operations, reducing manual effort, and enhancing profitability. The vast majority of respondents noted increases in productivity and revenue due to the value that digitalization has brought to their businesses. Wow, oh, those are some very impressive statistics. I think it, it really shows the advantages of digitalizing your practice from the perspective of your own team's productivity, from transparency, but also in terms of client satisfaction. Um, those were some really great stats in terms of client retention. So actually giving clients the kind of valuable insights um, that would encourage them to stay and also helping in terms of profitability. So win 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 <laughs> all around absolutely and your competitive edge we all want to maintain our competitive edge in the industry and i think it's vital to look at that as an in added incentive so i wonder what are some of the risks to digital digitalization that business owners should maybe look out for so i think um some of the key challenges that some businesses might face is um, a lack of digital skills difficulties in integrating new systems with existing infrastructure and concerns around data security. Some employees who lack the necessary technical skills may resist the use of new technology and to overcome this risk, businesses should equip staff with proper training and the necessary skills so that they're able to effectively leverage digital tools and maximize the full benefits of it. To ease the integration process, um, businesses should seek scalable digital solutions that can easily align with their existing infrastructure for a smooth transition. Data security concerns would require a proactive approach. Businesses should implement stringent cybersecurity measures 
such as encryption, multi-factor authentication, and regular security audits. While these challenges may seem daunting, um, we must also remain cognizant that the benefits of digitalization far outweigh these challenges. Yeah, definitely. I know um, a lot of people might be quite resistant to change if they're used to doing things a certain way, especially if they've been doing them a certain way for a long time. But I think if you show them the statistics, show them all the benefits that they could reap um, from learning how to use these new technologies, that's also a good way to encourage them. And as we were talking about actually before the podcast started, it's so important to be continuously learning and upskilling so that you can make the most of all the technology that is out there and maintain that competitive edge. Yes, absolutely. I was wondering um, if you have any insights into how South Africa is doing in terms of digitalization compared to other parts of the world, you know, whether we're sort of on par, ahead of the curve or behind. Um, always interested to hear that. Mm, that's a great question. Um, so I think that South Africa has really made significant strides in certain areas such as fintech with mobile banking, um, payment platforms, and also blockchain technology. However, I do feel that we um, lag behind when it comes to digital inclusivity, as well as the full-scale adoption of advanced technologies, such as AI across various different sectors. In fact, um, South Africa ranks 76 out of 200 countries for broadband speed. And the cost of data in South Africa is also quite expensive when we compare it to other countries. And I think another obstacle to our technological success has been the major outages and load shedding that we've been experiencing over the years, although that has come to an end for now. Hopefully it remains that way. Um, whilst Europe has raised the bar by implementing the first ever Artificial Intelligence Act to ensure that AI is developed safely and in a trustworthy manner. South Africa still needs to catch up in these areas, especially in aligning its regulations and adoption strategies with global practices. And other countries such as the US are also significantly ahead of South Africa in terms of adopting AI technology across various sectors. So although South Africa is on the right path, I think we still need to just work on scaling our digital infrastructure to keep up with the global pace. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think that, as you said, in, in certain areas, we are actually ahead. If you think about um, our digital banking, I think compared to places like the US where you don't even really see EFTs, um, it's kind of promising in yeah. that sense. And I think there's a, there's a lot of space for growth. Um, and if we can ignite that interest, then I think we can, yeah, really catch up to the rest of the world. Oh, yes, we, we can. We're going to get there. We're on the right path. Just need to add more <laughs> effort into it, I suppose. And hope that uh, load shedding kind of stays. Yes. So. Fingers, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Um, apart from the accounting industry, which we've obviously been focusing on now, are there any other industries that um, have really been impacted by digitalization? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, digitalization has been used in various different industries all over, um, even aerospace, the defense force, the Formula One racing team, um, AI technologies even used to uh, fly an airplane. So um, AI has significantly advanced from what it used to be. I mean, now you can even upload conversations that you've had with a real friend and AI can mimic their responses. And it's designed um, so that you're able to engage in real life conversations and you can even create emotional bonds with this AI. It's simulated to give you the experience of interacting with this personal friend. Um, and even NASA has used AI quite, quite extensively. They've created a robot called Curiosity that has been exploring planet Mars since 2012 to take pictures and obtain a sense of smell and feel for objects on the planet that would indicate if life had ever existed on the planet. And also to consider the possibility of human living, humans living on planet Mars in the future. 
So I think this is a really good example of how robotics and digitalization can be used to perform functions on behalf of humans. And um, even in the accounting industry, this can be linked back and illustrated um, as to how efficiently robotic software can be used to perform tasks on behalf of accountants. Sure, that's really exciting. Uh, really cool, especially about the, the robot on Mars, looking to see if there's a, a way, feels like being in a science fiction movie, <laughs> looking for a way for the humans to maybe go to Mars. Yes, absolutely. It's really fun and interesting to read up on and research uh, things on digitalization because it's not just it's, it's not a boring um, aspect that's only related to the accounting industry. I think that's something we need to get out of the way. You know, there's so much more to it than meets the eye. Once you dig into it, you'll see that it's an abundance out there. I think also and that everything is all interconnected. Um, accountants working with their customers and within every business really you can make the most of the digital tools that are out there you're just going to be using maybe slightly different tools and using them in different ways oh yes absolutely and also reducing your amount of time and effort to complete whatever tasks you're doing in that particular industry what would your advice be to businesses who are maybe a bit hesitant about getting on board the digital train so to businesses that are hesitant about digitalization, my advice is quite simple. Um, you need to embrace digitalization sooner rather than later. Um, I don't think that digitalization is just a trend. It's actually the future of business operations. It can enhance efficiencies, reduce the operational costs, and also open new revenue streams through innovation and data-driven decision-making. So by adopting digital tools, businesses can automate mundane tasks, improve customer experiences, and also gain a competitive edge. So ultimately, digitalization is an investment in the future success of your business. Do you have any uh, examples, maybe from your studies, of ways that different practices have used digital tools and kind of uh, like the before and after picture of what it looked like before they were using these digital tools? You know, how did it improve their productivity or how did it um, decrease the time they were spending on certain tasks? When I think... Um there's vast amounts of information <laughs> that I can add in uh, to elaborate on how it's improved us. So firstly, as I said, with working from anywhere at any time, it's improved collaboration amongst team members. And also with terms of efficiency, like with um, clients that were using auto entry, for example, you know, now you're able to um, link in your bank statements uh, directly to the accounting software. So there's no need for clerks to manually capture um, all of these bank entries now. It's just integrated into your accounting system. So there's a huge time saving there. That's just one example. There's numerous other examples of you know capturing heaps of invoices. Like you've got a whole box of invoices. I mean, how long does it take for one to capture a box of invoices? You know, compared now to seamlessly having these invoices just uploaded onto your accounting system. So it really just depends on the quantity of work and um, it saves a huge amount of time and cost savings because now accountants can focus on more important tasks rather than these mundane tasks. And if anyone is maybe listening to this and thinking, oh, if the tools are going to be doing all of my tasks for me, what am I going to be spending my time on? What would you say? <laughs> Oh, there's loads. I mean, strategic thinking, um, innovation. Uh, I, I think nowadays accountants are more, moving more on into a strategic role. So planning for the future, planning on how to increase revenue streams and more innovations on, um, you know, how to move the business forward. Definitely. I think there are lots of exciting new opportunities. And I think that's every time I've had a, a conversation kind of about whether it's AI or cloud, whatever it may be, uh, it's really about changing your mindset. So thinking um, this is opening new opportunities to change the way we think about accounting and the kind of roles that accountants will have in the future.
Yes, it absolutely is. And if someone were to only take away one thing from today's podcast, what would you want them to take away? So I would love for people to take away um, practical and empowered insights on digital transformation. I just hope that people will be excited, inspired, and ready to take action to embrace the digital frontier and seize the countless opportunities that come with it. Is there anything um, really important that you think we missed out on? Um, no, I think we've covered everything. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Prabhashni. I really enjoyed speaking to you and I've learned a lot. Uh, if people want to find out more about you or get in touch with you, uh, where can they find you? Well, I work at Sage, so, <laughs> and I'm also on social media. So, yeah, you can get a hold of me on social media as well. Amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone who has tuned in today. Uh, we will see you again next time. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you, Alex. Thanks for tuning in to the Beyond Insights podcast. Please like and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening to right now. And please share with any of your colleagues or friends or family members that you think might benefit from listening to this podcast. That's all from us. Until next time, see you then.